YouTube I wanted to give a preview of a future project here this is a star BM 9 millimeter classic had these on sale for $149.99 in fair condition so I couldn't pass that up I figured I'd give it a shot maybe I'd get a decent one and if not I would just strip it down and re-blue it and I did not get a nice one as you can see it's really rusted badly there's pitting all over it pretty deep pitting in some areas but that's not a big deal for the price I'm alright with it I like working on these old guns so I'm planning to strip it down completely and then rust blew it I saw another video where a guy did that and it turned out really great really dark nice bluing I've tried cold bluing a few guns before and I never had much luck I I had a real real problem getting an even finish and it isn't very tough kinda of wears off quickly no matter how I did it I tried several different products I think the rust blue looks like it's a, a real deep dark blue with a lot more durability so I'm gonna go with that but this thing is pretty nasty it seems to work fine but even all the internals are rusted so I'm gonna stick this thing in the ultrasonic with some mineral spirits and scrub it down real good with a wire brush and then oil it up and set it aside I'm having back surgery on Monday so I'm gonna be out for a while before I can work on something again but I will bring this back in the future and show you guys how it turns out I have a full-size star model B that I'm pretty happy with so that's kinda one of the reasons I was attracted to this deal I got the original box it's pretty sad and beat up you can see I mean it's all rusted inside the box look at that that's just sad and nasty I guess these uh, were put away wet and no one really cared about them is all I can figure because this red rust here I mean that was water actual dripping water on there so I'm not sure what happened with these if they were in crates that got wet somehow or what but I guarantee it wasn't this bad when it was put away years ago so that's a just a little preview for a future project hi guys I wanted to show you a little problem that I ran into the slide is is kind of stuck open right now but I can still explain here what's going on this is the other side of the slide stop now this protruded out a good ways from the side oh uh, let's see I don't know about out to there but the top of this pin was so rusted it would not push through see I'm trying to remove this slide stop out this way so what I had to do was while the slide was closed I put this piece of Gorilla duct tape on here and then I had to go along the, the edge of the top of this pin and start removing that pitting because it was so pitted it was mushroomed out I about have it now but I just wanted to show you guys that and to get it the rest of the way, instead of trying to pry it with something metal, I'm just going to slip a piece of paracord under it and pull it up. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, this is turning into a pretty good adventure just getting this thing apart. So I will talk to you later. I also wanted to mention that I can't just hammer this through from this side with a punch because you have to hold back on the slide to line that little nub up. To be able to get it through so you can't just hammer on it all right guys finally got it all apart down to every last little pin and spring i could not find a full disassembly video there's plenty for the full size star b but i didn't see one for this so i found a set of written instructions luckily the interior parts are not too bad it looks like most of the rust is on the outside uh, the triggers pretty nasty but really like all the little 
that spring's pretty nasty there, that flat spring, but the pins are all right, the spring's all right. The firing pin is real good. It just has some carbon on it. The extractor's a little gnarly, but not bad. You know, none of the recesses for the springs were full of rust, so that's a good sign. The bore, not sure how well you can see that. It's pretty frosty with specks of rifling, but there's not real, or I'm sorry, specks of rust, but there's not real deep pitting, so should be able to get this to shoot all right once I get it all back together. I'm not sure what to do if I'm gonna, thinking about soaking the thing in navel jelly. Because I really don't want to have to wire wheel or wire brush every little part. I might try some kind of total strip product and just get it all. So that's it. It's all apart. Let's hope I can remember how to put it back together several months from now. But that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you how I'm doing this uh, to try to get some of this rust off here. With a wire wheel, I clamped my battery powered Dremel in this little portable vise that rotates in all directions. And then I hold the work piece and move it around instead of holding the Dremel with the work piece clamped in it and trying to move the Dremel around. It's a lot easier to control the fine areas when you're holding the workpiece with your hand than it is to clamp the workpiece and move the Dremel. So I hope that little tip helps someone and I'll talk to you later. Well guys, this is pretty slow going. I'm bagging the real small pieces as I go once I get them clean. This is really making me wish I had the Harbor Freight little mini grit blaster would make this a lot easier.